What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the vlog. Today we are, uh, I don't know, we're road tripping for car mods. Car mods. I'm actually here with the man Mitch. Yeah, in Wodonga. With the 105 which is back, but we're not going to talk about that for now. Are we? Oh, we'll do it later. We'll do it later. Yeah. It's very different. It's a bit confusing how this is all working. I'm just going to save the explanation. I'm not going to do it. Right. But um, yeah, we're in Wodonga and we got Mad Fab here, which yep. is going to do some cool snorkel business on the trophy and then we're dropping Mitch's car off later today. Yeah, he's already already knocked out the snorkel. Snorkel's coming. It looks... <laughs> I can't swear, but it looks hard. <laughs> like Mickey Mouse. It's going to do an airbox as well, airbox. I think, because when the car was in for the conversion, the, the one they were going to use didn't fit because I've got a bit of extra stuff bolted onto the motor. So, clearance was an issue, but old Mad Fab's going to... Gonna... Custom map. Yeah, sort something out for us. That's and it. If it looks anything like the snorkel, I reckon that'll be a... Very good time. Yeah. So. We're dropping my car off. Mitch and I are just can do something for the day. Yeah, well, that's pretty nice up here. Like, I yeah. think we can head, head a bit east and find yeah, something cool to do. But yeah, I think we really save most of it for when we come back. Yeah. Run through and it all. Then we'll run through it all. I, I'm excited. It's it's like the last thing outside that's left on that, I reckon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's got some pressure. <laughs> I don't expect this time frame if you get into the Yeah. <laughs> But. So what do you got? You've just got a few bends sitting at the shop and yeah, you're yeah. going to start from scratch today. Pretty much, yep. That's yeah, have good. a look and measure up. And ever, ever made one for a trip carrier before? <laughs> if you can make them for nice bendy cars like the 105, <laughs> I'm sure making one for a square car. Yeah, for a nice square a car. Few lines on it. Yeah. I reckon we let him get to it because he's <laughs> he's got a big, <laughs> got a big <laughs> one. He's got a big one to do. <laughs> got the dogs. Got the boys. It's been a while since, since you've even been in a video. Yeah. It's been like five months. We just haven't existed for a Six bit. months. Yeah. More, like February. Yeah, it's been, well yeah, Fe Canopy hasn't been on the car since February. It's been a long time. But I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> we better let him get to it. So, yeah, I'll just show you what we get up to today and then we'll run through the snorkel that he makes, which I'm really excited for. Bloody oath. Yeah. <laughs> What have we got going on here, mate? Well, we found a blue, well, we nearly ran him over, a yeah. blue ton. He's just sitting on the road, but he's got a couple of ticks on him, behind his leg, so let's see if we can get them off. Ah. <laughs> oh, there's his ton. So, mate, you see, they're just behind his arm, there. Yeah. Oh, he bit his own tail. You can see behind his leg. They look like a growth or something, but those are ticks. I don't know how you're meant to remove them, but I think even if I just pull them off, it's gonna be better than. Is there any edge I'll wait? That's your own tail, come on. <laughs> if you've got reception, have a Google on how to get them off. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not sure how you're meant to get them off, but I don't wanna. So, yeah, they're on there, aren't they? That's a tick. You can see he's got his little legs okay. and his yep. little shit little mouth. Yeah. They're awful things, but old, old mate should be. A bit better off now, so we get him off the road. And you get to see his tongue before. On the, I think so. Yeah. He's probably calmed down a bit now, but he looks angry. <laughs> beautiful little eyes on him. But anyway, there you go, mate. Maybe get off the road a bit. No. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't feel like doing that job, mate. But he'll be right now, I think. How good. Beautiful. Mitch and I are actually on our way to. A spot that we went to a while ago yeah. in Mount Beauty area because that's actually around the, the Wodonga area. Just like a little swimming hole thing. Keep driving there. Been driving for a little while. We also went the wrong way, which is more doing yeah. That's pretty standard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't end up where well, I thought we were going to end up. Yeah. So. Yeah, accidentally put the pin down to where we camped last time, not where we went last time. The river's unreal, actually. It's crystal clear. Mm. Sitting at a campsite where some dickhead thought it was a good idea to cut up the table and use it for firewood. Like literally on this side, literally just cut the bench. Like that, and then burnt it. So on the off chance that they're watching this, like, please <laughs> uppercut yourself. You're dead set <laughs> tool. Left shit everywhere as well. Shock them. But anyway, nice place. Mm. Yeah, we might end up where we're trying to go a bit later. Much 
better, does it? Some nice looking water. Bloody hell. Good boy, Jet. <laughs> the dog that doesn't swim. <laughs> Is he swimming? <laughs> He's true. <laughs> That's him. He's like walking underwater. <laughs> <laughs> bloody chainsaw, do we? <laughs> That's pain. That puts a big flaw in the plans. Back we go. Nothing like turning around on a high country track. God. So yeah, this is the little hole last time we were here it was open. So this wasn't full. And that's probably a good four metres deep in that bit of the wall. Maybe even more. Damn, it's not 10 degrees hotter. Yeah. It's just not quite warm enough. So clear. Good. We just went for a walk, hoping to see where the um, power station bit came out, but we don't know where that is. Yeah. Oh. There he goes, coming. Hey, I'll kick you. Come on, mate. I got you there, yeah? Here, here, here. Spaghetti limbs, Wilson Ross. Back at it again. Hey. <laughs> Right, so what's going on is that Matt's sending Mitch a photo of my car. Yep. And I'm not going to look at it. There's been some delays, which is, we'll explain later. Yeah, well, the the poor bloke signed up to build you a snorkel in a day. Yeah. Just build it, fit it, and then drive home. Oh, I've got a video. Oh. 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 Let's have a look at this bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh. <laughs> you are gonna be walking around with a bloody with a chub for the next week, I reckon. <laughs> I keep wanting to swear on the camera, but that's uh, <laughs> mwah. that's oh, I'm excited. Look at the even the dogs are excited. excited. That looks unreal. <laughs> You're gonna be oh, makes me so excited to get mine. <laughs> the basically, I was just getting the snorkel, but then um, when he went to do it i didn't even think about it the way that the snorkel is run the, the safari one anyway the way that's run into the stock airbox doesn't work with a four inch because that's a three inch um i didn't even think about it i'll explain it when we can actually see what we're looking at i'm sure matt will be able to give us yeah, an explanation yeah so basically now it's getting an airbox um which added a whole another thing to it and then uh, yeah ac accidentally put a dint in the snorkel so we yeah. had to redo yeah. a lot of stuff um <laughs> poor bastard. And the poor bastard it's a sunday yeah. it's a beautiful day yeah, it's a cracker <laughs> i'll give you the hot tip i would not want to be making snorkels today no jesus no nah. so <laughs> it's like a may or may not that the airbox will be done today which Either way, I'm still happy. If it gets done today, that is a seriously good effort. He's killing it. Yeah. Prima. Oh, <laughs> and I, I can say this because we already know it's going to happen. And I've already seen mine. But there's no, like, all the welds are polished out. Yeah, it's, I know that. Se oh, yeah. seamless. And <laughs> 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 yeah, lots of people probably don't even know who Mad Fab is. But he makes some serious snort. Yeah, well, on Instagram, he's madfab underscore and he's got 619 followers and yeah. i reckon a day let's, after this let's is, up that let's reckon, up that i reckon he can hit a thousand a day the yeah. video comes out and sure. i reckon when you guys see the, the snorkel it's you're gonna want one and when you see mine too yeah. oh, already side by side hand. there's a lot of stainless snorkels out there that i purposely didn't buy that were much easier to get mitch is a very particular person with certain things yeah. the snorkels is one of them yeah but yeah so that that's how the day's kind of panned out we could be here kind of late yeah but could, it's been a good day that's though. been good we might go sit down by the lake and yeah just up uh, we couldn't even get the kern yeah Z Z a a visit. but poor old matt's having a rough day oh he's, yeah he's doing a great job so what whatever gets done is just amazing 
Cool. I've seen one. <laughs> so, All right. Anything else is a bonus. But yeah, let's go. I don't know. Get some kern. Get some kern. See Chill out. Through the drive through. Yeah, Joey's. Mm. <laughs> anyway. So Adam's car has just got here. Ooh! <laughs> We're gonna... That is tasty, apart from that rattle. What do you think, mate? Oh, gee. What do we got here? Oh, That's good fine. lord. Good lord. Apart from the old. Yeah. Not much <laughs> a bit of a stanky safari, Mark. Yeah, the safari leaves a, um, horrible scratches on it. I don't know if there was supposed to be rubber in there. I don't know. <laughs> bad, eh? Look at that. That's yeah, unreal. Really. <laughs> <laughs> he's outdone himself, really. I'll pass you the camera. You can do the cameraman oh, duties. So he's just putting in a massive day's work. As you can see, it's like night time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, going to come out there instead. It'll come in there and then there, like the safari. Yeah. And then, like, a real tight. Like, yeah, because that's hose. what. We were saying about the safari one, it enters there, then a rubber hose has got to come through there and around into that. It's a pretty dumb design, really. Like that. So that's the airbox that will go in. Oh. Basically just ran out of time, which is fair enough. That's nice. It looks good from the front too, just how it follows everything out. Yeah, my favourite bit is that it's seamless. Yeah. We'll see at the end result, it looks pretty good. Come on, look at it. Unreal. And then from the front, you've taken a little bit out of the guard as well, haven't you, to make it follow? Yeah, taking it out here to all the way along, but mainly out here to get it back in to get the line. Yeah. You sort of got to pick lines and had a bit of work cut out for you with the old safari on there as yeah. well. <laughs> <laughs> Made a bit of a mess. Yeah. You've yeah. done well. Done real well. But, um, yeah. yeah. The main thing is trying to keep it, you know, with, with the car lines, not, not just jam it on there and, you know, hope for the best. Yeah. It looks so good. If it only is. my fender wasn't stuffed. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't give it justice. So if anyone's got one of these fenders that aren't absolutely trashed, I'd like one. Yeah. <laughs> what about all your socials, mate? Where can people find yeah, you? Yeah, where can people find you? No, just on um, Instagram and Facebook, MadFab 4x4. Yep, it'll be up on the screen and everything, and yeah. down in the description, everyone. It's I expected to. Hobby I got, so hey, more, more people I can get. <laughs> really, so. But he's the man. So I don't know how how clear we made it. Mitch is leaving his car here. Yeah. He's getting basically the same stuff onto it. He's getting mad fab. Getting mad fabs. Um, and then when Mitch comes to pick up his car, he'll pick up the airbox. Ran out of time today. It was a pretty, pretty big ask. Yeah. <laughs> on a Sunday. So he's done well. All smoothly, it would have been all right, but, yeah. but I'm still super, super stoked. I think we'll cut from here into in the daytime so people can actually see it properly. Okay, so it's pretty windy, so I hope you can hear me. Um, just going to give you a quick look out of, of it during the day. I'm, I'm in love with it. I absolutely love it. He's done an awesome job. Got the Mad Fab cut out up there. Mad Fab mount as well. But it just looks, it makes it look so much better. And the way that it, it follows the body, as you can see, like actually follows the body, just ties it all together. I really love it. Um, so the troop is looking, looking quite mint now. <laughs> it sucks that the the airbox isn't done, so I just gotta wait for that. But he'll get that done, and Mitch will bring that back down when he picks up his car. See, I don't know, you can see it's all, all seamless. I do have to fix this guard up. Um, I don't really know what the best option with that is. I don't know if I try to find another one, or if I might be able to fix that. I don't know. But, so ignoring that, that, that is a bit ugly, but there's nothing that uh, Matt could do about that. So, yeah, I'm absolutely stoked. I just wanna, yeah, get the airbox in there so it's actually functional. Um, 
and then see what kind of noises come out of that because I have no idea. And kind of curious to see if having the airbox in there will make any difference like power wise, fuel economy wise, I don't, I don't know. And like if it will make any difference with that, who knows. Probably not often that you'd see something like that on an NA1HZ. It's not staying NA forever. Uh, so don't worry. But yeah, that's that's the video. I'll make another one with the airbox when I get it. So big shout out to Mad Fab. Please go follow him on Instagram and Facebook and whatnot. Um, Matt's an awesome bloke. Does awesome work. And yeah, I'm, I'm actually su super proud to have that snorkel on there. I don't know why. I just love it. And the fact that it's just some bloke who's just doing his own thing. I profit. But yeah, anyway, thanks for joining me in this kind of bits of vlog of picking up the snorkel. Um, he did a killer job of pretty much finishing off the airbox in one day. He's got a whole bunch of other things that he's got to do on it and doing the snorkel in one day. So yeah, thanks for hanging out with Mitch and I in the high country. <laughs> um, it was a big day. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Catch you guys there. Cup of coffee on the car floor, what's more?